Good morning, Casey. Oh, hello, Edward. Did you sleep well? Yes, I have. How about you? All too well. Although I have been a little bit of trouble on the moment. What's the matter? I got to take a local train in a few minutes, but there's no coaches available. Did you know some I could use? Of course, there's the old mainline coaches we use on the express. They're on the far side of the yard. They mean well. Just take care of them. Of course, I will. I handle old coaches in my time, and I know how to take care of them. That's a good thing to know. That's odd. James didn't even say good morning, nor did he show off his red paint. Well, James is a little bit quiet at this time. Why? Because James had an encounter with a ghost engine a long time ago. A ghost engine? Yes, this engine was an old war department engine who worked on the railway a long time ago, number two sixteen. He was too big for his wheels. He thought he knew better. He used to rough ride a lot. One night, he was called to take the ammunition train to the other railway. As he did, he bumped along the line, which caused the ammunition wagons alongside with the engine to explode. And some say that on every misty night around midnight, 216's ghost is seen thundering along the line and fading into the unknown. So that's why James is so silent at the moment. Exactly. The encounter with his ghost scarred him for life. Okay. Well, I'll be careful there with. Thank you, Casey. Also, do be careful with the coaches. You don't want to crush them. Of course not. I would never do that. What kind of engine would do such thing? One of the lone engines who work on the railway. Hmm, those must be the old coaches Edward told me about. No wonder why they call them old coaches. They certainly are for the Victorian era. Morning, Casey. Are you going with a local train? Yes, I am, Paxton. And are you off with your trucks to the Blue Mantle Quarry, I assume? Yes, I am. I see that you take the old coaches. Good thing too. They haven't been used so much recently. Well, they're certainly used for local trains, I'm sure. Yes, but not all rolling stock can last forever. Some are either retired. But at least they won't suffer from scrap here on Sodor. Indeed. Though, Edward told me that there's a little bit of history behind these coaches. He didn't mention that back at the sheds. I wonder what kind of history is that about an engine crushing coaches? Perhaps I can tell you about it.
Good morning, Casey. Good morning, Paxton. Good morning, Alfred. You say you know about this? Yes, I do. Besides, I once was one of the Lone Ninjas. You were? Oh yes, and not just myself. There were also a bunch of engines here alone as well, including one of those, Afton. Who was he? He was a 460 class Colton, built for the London and Northwestern Railway on the mainland before they were merged into the LMS. He was very arrogant, and let's just say he considered the old vintage coaches outdated rolling stock or antiques. Oh my! Indeed. He wasn't even suited for local trains at all. Not after he crushed one of the old coaches. He was the engine who crushed those coaches? The first one behind him, yes. He would have been sent away, but that never happened. Why? What happened? There was a special express called the Midnight Special that ran from Vickerstown to Titmouth before we were relocated here. Myself and the rest of the mainline ninjas used to handle it. One night, Afton was called to take the midnight special, and that was the last time we saw him. Why? Did he got sent away? That's when the strangest thing happened. They found his coaches still on the line, with no angel coupled up to it, and grumpy passengers. Maybe he just left his coaches behind. We thought that too, but we searched up and down the main line, but we never found him. Only his crew were found the next day, sleep on a bed at Crover's Gate. They didn't even remember what happened to Afton. They only remember entering the tunnel, and the next, they were waking up on the platform. So, Afton simply just vanished? Apparently, yes. Or he disappeared because of something. What do you mean? Some passengers claim they saw a small coach just behind the engine, just like the old mainline coaches. But they couldn't be confirmed since it wasn't there and no one saw it. Could be just a little mishap. But we never know. After still miss it to this day, and the mystery behind it is still unsolved. But some people claim to see his ghost pulling just a single coach behind it. The same coach that he once crushed all those years ago. And he's still haunting the line to this day. My word! Now that's a story to tell! I know. Alfred, you don't personally believe it, do you? To be honest, Casey, I don't know if believe it or not. I'll admit, I'm a good engine. I can be a little bit grumpier and don't stop for nonsense. But the supernatural, like ghosts or otherwise, is something that I just simply can't put my buffers on. It's a little bit strange, and there's a lot of things that we can't explain. Like Afton for this matter. I understand. Anyways, I need to shunt my vans away. I'll shunt it for you, Alfred. Just leave it there. I'll handle that a little bit before I go. Thank you, Paxton. Take care of the line, Casey. Thank you, Alfred. What do you think about it, Paxton? A very nice story. Though, about that someone like Afton existed? Ooh, that makes my side rubs shake. Do tell. I'll be careful with the coaches then. Alright, goodbye Casey.
Thank you, Casey. That was a very smooth ride. You're welcome. I say, you were a bit quiet through the whole journey. What's the matter? Is it about the stories? Yes, and even the one that Edward told me back at the sheds about an engine number 216, Lou himself. Ah, yes, we remember that engine all too well. He wasn't even allowed to touch us. Some World Department engines are suitable for passenger trains. Good riddance. I can understand that. I once served the World effort back in the day, but I would never be as rough as that. Oh no, you won't, dear. Believe me, you are one of the kind. Just like Edward and the rest of the other engines on this island. Oi, Casey, please stand by. James is coming with his train. And he needs help. Of course, sir. What's the matter? Your injector has failed? Yes. Luckily, Boca was able to tow me here. It's the least I could do. Besides, this is not the first time your injector fails. No, it isn't. Well, don't worry. I'll handle it for you. Thank you, Casey. You might as well meet Timothy there. Thanks.